outdoor shooting settings for the Canon XL2. Canon XL2, although it's a little heavy for outdoor shooting, it's a favorite of a lot of outdoor shooting people, especially uh, the hunting magazines and those type of things. Um, the outdoor magazines, you'll see them, a lot of them using the uh, XL2 or the Canon GL1. A couple things you're going to want to deal with is where you're shooting. If you're shooting over a pond like we are here, uh, the three wide will be a fine lens for you. But if you're going to be shooting out over a distance, say looking for big game, that type of thing, you're going to want to go with the Canon's uh, 20 power or 16 power. Uh, a couple things you're going to have to be concerned about on the settings is you're going to have to be concerned about your ND filter because when you're shooting outdoors, you always have to worry about ND filter and the iris. I would like to get a um, a good fast shutter speed in case you're getting moving animals and you have to pan real quickly and I would put on image stabilization just in case you're moving your camera. High shutter speed, check your iris. I always shoot from a tripod or some other type of equipment that I can use to shoot from. The, um, I just use automatic white balance when I'm outside or just use your outdoor preset which is just fine for outdoor shooting. You don't have any lighting you have to worry about except for the sun. The, uh, the screen, when you're looking at the screen, you're going to have to look through the eyepiece if you're outdoors because most places you're going to be, the light's going to be shining on it, and you won't be able to see the screen, even if it's just reflective light. So I use the eyepiece. And then um, the other thing, too, is a, the question of ma manual or autofocus. I try to always use manual focus if I can because manual focus gives you the, the exacting um, look that you want. If you go with a automatic focus uh, and you're panning out and you get on the big critter like an elk and then you pull off the critter, it's going to try to find that and it's going to be zooming back and forth. Even with say the Canon XHA1 which has a really fast autofocus, you're still going to be searching for that thing. So I try to always use the manual. Then the other thing you're going to have to worry about is whether it's daytime or dusk. If and during the day you're going to use your ND filters as it gets dark and as you see that sun coming down always check your lighting settings because it's going to change as you get towards the dusk. So um, some things fine, auto white balance or outdoor preset. Um, I use the manual focus. I, I watch my lighting settings as it gets near dusk and dusk and dawn are the best times to shoot animals. So those are the times you're going to have to be setting the settings for.